I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk Wednesday, February the 9th, 2022. We're going to do a conversation. I think it's one that's deserving to have a conversation. Kim Kardashian West and Kanye West. Many know they are going through a divorce, a public divorce, seeming to be a nasty, bitter, public divorce. And, and in my opinion, does not have to be that way, should not be that way. I would say this about Kim Kardashian West, and I'm wondering if she's going to keep that uh, the West onto her name or if she's just going to go back to her name as Kim Kardashian. But as we know, Kim Kardashian and Kanye have four kids. North is their oldest. Then they have Saint. And North and Saint, Kim actually had herself. Their last two children, which is Chicago, that they often call Shy. And the last baby, Psalm, was care. Uh, Kim had someone to basically carry the baby for her. Um, and but they are the parents of four children. They're going through a divorce. Kanye is being Kanye. I want to read something Kim had wrote in her story. It's a, I think it's like last week. It says, Kanye, Kanye's attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver of our children, I am doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express, express herself in creativity, in her creativity, in the media that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. Divorce is difficult enough on our children and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly it's only causing further pain for all. From the beginning, I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because it is what is best for our children. It saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible in every step of the way. I wish... I can. I wish to handle all matters regarding our children privately, and hopefully he can finally respond to the third attorney he has had in the last year to resolve any issues amicably. So this comes from when Kanye was, and again, as I stated, Kanye being Kanye, uh, he first rant he did not long ago was when um he was ranting ranting about not being invited to the birthday party of their youngest daughter Sh chicago shy kim and her sister kylie had durable birthday parties for Shy's birthday <coughs> both children birthdays are in february so the sisters had a double party uh kanye goes on a rant on Again, social media saying uh, the nannies weren't telling him. He's calling. He doesn't know where the birthday party. He wasn't invited to his birthday party. He, you know, tell Chicago. Basically, just as some people has. Uh, in fact, it was Lonnie Love on Daily Pop. Um, cause Kim, they was recently on Daily Pop talking about how Kim is doing a Vogue. It's on the cover. Uh, Vogue. It's a March issue to be out. Maybe I'm not exactly. I know later within February and we and today is February the night. I don't know exactly the date or uh, release date. And uh they had read how uh, Kanye is out here ranting and basically just trying to control Kim. It's uh, uh, Lonnie Love made a very good point and I agree. And I and, and they read what I just read Kim's post and 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 Lonnie went on to say, see what did I tell you? This is about control he's as Lonnie Love put it Kanye basically has not accepted that the fact that Kim is seemingly to have moved on with her life as we, as we know and it's being speculated that she allegedly are, are is, in, is in a relationship dating Pete Davidson 
I don't really look for that to be no serious relationship because you got to look at the, and this is my commentary. This is my opinion. Kim is in her 40s. This young man, Pete, is, I think, 29, something like that. So he's in his uh, late 20s. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, I, I mean, I don't even really know what that's about. I don't know if she's trying to do this because of how her sister Courtney landed love and now is, now is engaged to Travis Baker. And, you know, he got all the tattoos and all that. So I don't really know what the Pete Davidson situation is, is about, but I think it's just as as an uh, old uh, saying used to go, just a little flame. I don't see it as being something serious. But this is what Kanye has said. It said, um, Kanye West, since this is my first divorce, I need to know what I should do about my daughter's being put on, about my daughter being put on TikTok against my will. He wants to make it to seem like everything Kim is doing, he's not knowledgeable of. It's against, you know, he's not for it. He, he, not giving his approval paint there are two parents to children that's whether you are parents that are in a household married or if you as what seemingly to be going on now as kim stated a co-parenting relationship and it is very good because see i say this all the time kids do not ask to come here and they made some good points on the Daily Pop. And I, I think it was maybe the guy Justin, but someone made the saying to the fact, if, you know, you can be in a relationship with somebody, but you need to look at that person when that person's sleeping. Like, is this somebody I really, really, really see myself living my the rest of my life with? Someone that I want to marry, someone that I want to make kids. Like he said, you may can see yourself as, Spend the rest of your life with that individual, maybe just in a marriage with no children involved. Or maybe you can see yourself married to that individual and kids are in, in, in are involved. Or it may be to where, hey, you can't see yourself whether married or children. Kids don't ask to come into this world. So if you and this goes for both parents, and I often say people need to be careful with who they make their kids with with you know so often you hear the deadbeat dad there are deadbeat dads but there's also deadbeat moms i mean it goes hand in hand vice versa but if you're not going to be a parent and that's whether you are a mother or a father two children innocent children who needs complete love and nurturing and to he or she that child is of age to is considered an adult leave kids out of the equation because you get situation like this and then these are celebrities and like it uh lonnie made the statement eventually in north i think it's like seven six seven well she's older than six i believe so she's about maybe seven going on eight somewhere like that but eventually these kids will be young teenagers young adults and they're gonna see all this trash especially that their dad did and I can say this about Kim Kardashian. She is a private person, even when all the times when, when Kanye was out there doing, like I say, his crazy rants and, and, and causing embarrassment. She would try and handle it as privately as possible until just she had had no other solution but to maybe speak on certain matters. And she has always been a private person. And I truly believe she loves her children. Cause I mean, one time somebody had, I think uh, North had did a drawing and some people trying to uh, talk no, talk uh, negatively about it. And Kim like now, don't come for my kids. She is like, she's like, now you can come for me all day long. Don't come for my kids. And I respect that. She's a private person. And these are situations that should be handled private. But again, Kanye being Kanye, and in my opinion, just like to seek attention. Because uh, they was talking about uh, Kim recently doing this Vogue. Um, and it's, uh, it says, you can be so hurt or so angry at your ex. But I think in front of the kids, it always has to be your dad's the best. Kim Kardashian in her Vogue. This is some statements from Vogue, her Vogue interview. 
make sure you are your co-parents biggest cheerleader no matter what you're personally going through basically what she's saying no matter the attached that that co-parent is giving to you like what she's enduring and experiencing with kanye you got to be your big the biggest cheerleader to your children about that their parent their other parent which in this case is their dad And like Lana said, he tried to throw shade. This is my first divorce. And we know Kim has went through divorces and things like that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to give Kim Kardashian West props. She loves her kids. Is she perfect? No. Neither am I or you. And she's tired, but she's still doing her thing. Like they said, she's, she hasn't came out and bashed him. She's just basically asking for respect and to handle this privately. There's pictures of her in the Vogue um, interview with her children, with all four of her kids. And I see it says, style by North. So I guess North picked out the, uh, the clothes, the outfits that they're wearing. And I think it is true to say, I guess he's a controlling person. Perhaps he was in their marriage as well. That seemed to have been the case. And so Kim was finally focusing on herself. And her children. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, it says, I've decided I'm going to make myself happy. Happy. That feels really good. And if that created changes and caused my divorce, I think it's important to be honest with yourself. Kim tells both. So, hey, again, she's focusing on herself and her four beautiful children. And um, people were talking about how uh, Kanye got on. I saw it on his Instagram post where he posted the picture where it's Kim with all the children. And he's going to say, God, please bring our family back together. I even commented, I said, well, you so need to stop bashing your children's mother and airing your family business and issues on social media. Honestly, I think Kim is done. Now, he's out here saying he wants his family back. He wants his family back and his wife and his children. Well, if that's the case, why at every opportunity you are here bashing the children's mom? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, in my opinion, saying you're lying when you're saying you want your family. When you at every opportunity, you're bashing the key, uh, bashing your children's mom. That's not wanting your family back. Like I said, the baby's birthday party. He got on and said, thank Travis Scott for uh, telling him where the birthday party. Supposedly, uh, he was supposed to be having a separate birthday party for Ch Chicago where Kim and uh, Callie had their party for both children, Stormy and, and Shy. I don't know if he, I, don't, I never heard anything else if he actually had a birthday party himself for Chicago. This again, Kanye being Kanye, I guess he just wants to say he wants to be at the party. Now, like m people have said, and from what I often have seen, he does appear like he loves his children as well. Nor, you know, I've seen where she's been on at his concerts and things, singing, and he's always carrying Chicago, and she always seeming to be smiling. So, he d both parents, I say this, both Kim and Kanye, both seem to have a good relationship with their children, and both seem to be parents that love their children. The issue comes, just like when most divorces, I'm a divorced woman myself, been divorced 22 years. My kids were young when I got, when me and their dad got a divorce. It's the kids that suffers the most in a divorce. And then you, we're dealing with public celebrities. Both are well-known, both are well-loved, and then you got innocent kids in all of this. So if Kanye really wants his family back, he needs to get it together. He needs to stop bashing Kim. And he know, he needs to show some respect to his children's mom. But as I said in the, in, in the post on his IG, God please bring our family back together. He got that in all caps. Well, first you need to stop bashing Kim. But again, I think Kim is done. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.